All right, Mr. Thalathano TV. All right, this Meek Mill and Safari, well, Safari getting ambushed by Meek Mill's Dream Chasers has struck the internet, and um, everybody's talking about it right now. One person that's talking about it, again, rappers, entertainers, singers, everybody's talking about it. One person that's talking about it is Kay Michelle, all right? She tweeted out her comments of what she thought about Meek Mill jumping her friend Safari. Remember her and Safari are cool. This is what Kay Michelle said. These rappers all need to form an R&B female group. In Memphis, where I'm from, gangsters don't jump people. That's more like Sweet Valley High. There need to be a thug life manual. I see. Everybody can't be gangster. It's okay to be soft serve. I personally always wanted to be a soccer mom. Let me let me take this moment to teach here. I just want to say, I think I kind of want to pick at what K. Michelle was saying and take it and kind of further her opinion in my own words. Everybody don't got to be the tough guy because both of these guys had some wrong in this. I still think it's buffoonery for Meek when, he, when he's already on like strike two and a half to do this in the middle of LA to jump Safari. I think I still think that's crazy. Safari asked for a fade with Meek. Again, you can't you, you can't tell that brother how he's going to respond, the whole Nicki Minaj situation. But I think it's a, a moment to teach here. I'm not trying to be gangster with y'all. When I die, I don't want to die saying I was gangster. That ain't who I am. That ain't who that ain't who I want to be. I'm cool on that. I want to be a good person, leave a legacy, impact some lives, impact some kids' lives, and show them there are other ways to legally go after this bread and be successful in this country. You don't have to fake and be gangster. A lot of dudes, a lot of young brothers faking it, and then some, uh, some older dudes doing it too. Faking and flogging. These young dudes ain't getting it from nowhere. A lot of dudes faking and flogging like they somebody they ain't. You feel like you got to touch them if you see them. You got to... Man, let that shit go. Let that bullshit go. As long as ain't nobody die over some of these situations, you you jacking with niggas over five bucks. Man, let some of that shit go. You ain't got to be the tough guy 1,000% of the time. A lot of y'all do. Look, a gun don't make you tough. You can pull a trigger. I don't look at you as a tough guy. I know a lot of these dudes do. I try to stay the hell away from you. But being able to squeeze the trigger of a gun... That does not make you fucking tough. All right? If me and you, mano y mano, and you pull that gun, instead of trying to fight me man to man, or you want to, you know, whatever you want to do, that don't make you tough to me that you had a weapon on you. It just don't make you tough to me. You maybe can live to fight another day, but you don't get more respect in my world. I don't know what the hell the, the code is to the street. I don't live by that code. I got my own codes that I live by. I don't understand what we've printed as a society of as of real and fake and what you got to do. Again, all this shit seems, seems like buffoonery. And you got, I'm going to be honest, you got media personalities. You got media, web, you got sites taking advantage of this good content. That's all it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking advantage of this good content. This stupidness. All right? Thank you for the time, Leslie Poor. I would love to know your opinions to what I just said. K. Michelle, as well, she calls out. Meek Mill for jumping her friend Safari. She said it wouldn't go down like that. And it's a female rap group, right? It wouldn't go down like that in her hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Talk to me in the comment box below. Thank you for the time, Liz. Boy, I like hearing the comments to what I have to say. I like shifting the conversation. All this is good conversation, guys. I want to know your opinions. Thank you for the time, Liz. Support. I just think a lot of the shit we doing in the hoods right now could be avoided. Some things I understand. If somebody wrong you or rob you, I get it. Ain't no slowing that brother down when he wants his retaliation. But some shit, lives are being lost over it. And ain't nobody speaking up talking about it enough. Thank you for the time, love support. Don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at